Hello everyone, UFC Kaplan here, your friendly Toronto and Costa Rica realtor. Welcome. Today I'm going to show you actual lots, houses and condos you can buy in Costa Rica with prices. Um, bear in mind, Costa Rica can be very expensive. No, I'm choosing actually things that are very affordable for many people. Whether they're, you're in Canada, in the United States or otherwise, Costa Rica is a phenomenal place to be. A lot of people are going down there right now, whether buying a home for the season. So they're going to go there when we have winter and Costa Rica is dry season. So it's hot and dry. And then what we call in Canada snowbirds. Um, and you can go to Costa Rica for six months a year on a tourist visa, 180 days. It used to be 90, but now it's 180. So they're very smart there. They want our money and they want us to be there. So you can find yourself a property. And what you can do, you can get a lot and build on it. You can get a house or a condo. When you're not there, you can have someone to manage it for you. So it makes money for you. And generally speaking, Costa Rica real estate seems to be appreciating by about 20 to 25% a year in recent years. So a lot of people looking at Costa Rica, not only to escape the cold or the politics, but also to make money on your investment, especially when the economy in North America is not doing that great. But just a few hours flight it's doing amazing all right so let's get right into it and i'll show you lots homes and condos you can buy right now in costa rica and all these lots home and condos either i have the listing for them or i have the ability to sell them to you so if you're interested in anything you see here or other things things in the area um, come contact me yossi kaplan and i'll help you out okay so i'm going to start with uh, sharing um the first which is a Lots. We're going to start with the $45,000 lots. Okay, so this is a post. I'll have it on my blog soon on yossikaplan.com. But for now, I want to show you here. I put a post. Let me see if I can expand that a little bit. Um, these posts. Okay, so these are lots. Currently, I have three lots available for sale in Playa Lagarto Eco Development, which is a beautiful project. Um, these lots, uh, lots, lot D2 right here, it's a quarter acre, it's a quarter acre lot, and it goes for $45,000 US. You can build a nice home on, on quarter acre, okay? That's one. It's in the community of the Playa Lagarto development, so there's other homes there, there's other people, there's lots of expats, very nice people. Everyone I speak with in Playa Lagarto is friendly. I know one person from Toronto, Greg, which you you can see his interview on my channels. Um, and there's other people, a lot of people from Ontario, but also from other places. And it's a wonderful community. Um, it's very helpful. People are helping each other and everything. Um, so that's why I like it. Uh, D2, it's quarter acre. Then we have F40, it's also quarter acre for 45, uh, 55,000 USD. And A112, which is 1.25 acres, an eight or, eight acre and a quarter in the A section of development for 100,000 USD. Now in the A section, you'll be able to build something very, very large, five, 6,000 square feet, um, <clears throat> no problem. Um, and if you wanted to see one of those homes, um, I'll switch you here. Yeah, and this is my YouTube channel. And in the interview I've done with Greg, Greg takes us through his house, which is about 6,000 square feet. Uh, let me see if I can get that a little clearer. Here we go. So this is a, in, in here, Greg actually takes us through a walk of the house. You'll see it in a second. And it's a wonderful pagoda-like Japanese-style house uh, that he built on an A, uh, on an a like lot, a 1.25 acre. <clears throat> and this is in Playa Lagarto. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. This is in this is his car is inside the house. It's that big. He just drives his car into the house. There's a second floor and everything. So that's Plala Garto. And once again, there's three lots I have for sale listed with myself. D2 for 45,000, F40 for 55,000, and A114 for 100,000 USD. If you want more information, contact me. I'll send you exact information. I'll go on the map with you live, show you where they are. Share where they are on the property. Everything you need to know, I'll explain everything. Okay, so we'll continue from here. 
But I want to tell you a little bit more about Playa Lagarto because I think it's such a wonderful place. <clears throat> it does have a Facebook community. And people are very, very friendly uh, in the community. Um, I'm not going to show the community itself for privacy, but there's a group. People are friendly. They help each other. Um, they help me. So thank you very much. And I think it's a wonderful community to be in. I think people will take care of you there. They're trustworthy. Fantastic place. Now, I'm going to open uh, Google Maps here and show you where it is and show you how you actually get around all these places, okay? So we're going to start with... Uh, Liberia Airport. I'll bring this. Let me bring this uh, page up here. So we are in uh, Costa Rica. See it? Okay. We are in Costa Rica right now. I'm going to show you where you land and where you go because it's very important. And you'll see how close these areas I'm talking about are very close to each other, which is very important for investors because you want to get in the car and be there right away or picked up. Okay. So this is the Liberia Airport. This is in the north, the northern part of Costa Rica. The San Jose is at the bottom. So a lot, most of the tourist traffic that goes, it'll go through Liberia here. A lot of this traffic because it goes right to the Pacific, and you can see the Pacific is very close. It's very, very close. Okay. Now, if I wanted to go to Playa Lagarto, I turn the map. Playa Lagarto, there it is. So it's an hour and 39 minutes, give or take, and it's right on the Pacific. Now, Playa Lagarto is uh, just outside of Tamarindo. Tamarindo, now, you cannot necessarily drive along the coast in Costa Rica, Nicaragua. You have to sometimes go back inland, go up north or south, and then go back in. That's okay. That's how it's done. Uh, but I'll show you how close they are. I'll put them both on the map. And I hope this information is also good for you just to understand um, <clears throat> how these things are going. So, Tamarindo, here we go. So, that's Tamarindo. So, to go to Tamarindo, if I remove Talagarto, it's slightly closer. It's an hour and 30, 25 minutes, okay? You can take two different routes. So, that's Tamarindo, and Tamarindo will be the main uh, area, the main uh, town in, in that area on, on the coast of Guanacaste. So a lot of people go through Tamarindo first or in the area. Okay, so that's where we are now. Tamarindo is, uh, think of uh, maybe Wasega or one of those. It's kind of a, a little bit of a party town, kind of like Haco. Um, some people like it to buy condos in uh, Tamarindo and they can rent it to tourists, but also it's a tourist place, lots of young people drinking, screaming. So it really depends what you like. Okay, and I'm not saying invest in a villa in Playa Lagarto, which is also, it's just on top of the beach, uh, is better or worse than Tamarindo, just different things. When you buy land, when you buy a lot, you build your own home. And we mentioned in other videos, the average cost looked to be around 110 US a foot, $110 a foot. So it's not that bad. <clears throat> 100 to 120,000 for th um, about 1,000 square feet. And when the size gets of the house gets larger, the dollar per square foot really collapses, even below 100. So you could probably build. And depending on your finishes and all that, obviously, but you could probably build a 2,000 square foot home for 200,000 and probably the 2,500 square foot home won't cost much more, if that, because you're building more floor space. Okay, so that's the logic behind building large homes. And then you can sell them later and flip them, uh, hopefully for a lot more. And that seemed to be the case. Now, when you invest in, um, and I'm going to just keep flipping here a little bit, so to keep you interested, but when you invest in Costa Rica, you really have to think future. Greg has done that because he purchased uh, the land, one of those 1.25 acres, the one that we saw now for 100,000, and he built a giant home he can sell and make very good profit on, okay, um, which is excellent, good for him and good for everyone else who's going through the process of going to a foreign country, buying the land, sending the money in, overcoming all these hurdles. But now we have the knowledge and the idea, and there are teams in Costa Rica that will come and do I actually have um, a call for um, developers and builders to come and build with me on some of these lots we have. So we've done we've done some uh, work around this, as you can see. Okay, let's keep going. See what else we can buy. 
So this is Tamarindo and uh, Plata Garda right below it. Uh, I'm going to show you now uh, a project called NIA, N-Y-A, NIA. It's very close to the Liberia airport. Let me show you here. NIA, Costa Rica. It's actually four kilometers. It's a very short drive from the airport. Now, why am I showing you NIA? You're gonna, because it's very, very special. So I'll show this tab here. And NIA, NIA is an entire village that will consist of 2,200 acres. Hello, friends, you'll see here. 200 acres, including a, a private lagoon uh, made by Crystal Lagoons. It's a large company, eight acre lagoon, freshwater lagoon. Uh, this thing is giant, okay? So this is the NIA, the airport's right next door. And you can see there's all the big names are there. Um, there's all the nature of Guanacaste, of course. And this is the page with the plan. And you can access this video too uh, on yocaplan.com slash NIA. And you can see the lagoon is here at the center. Around the lagoon is where these small condo, condo buildings are, are situated. They're three or four stories tall. Uh, you can get one bedroom, one plus den, two bedroom, two plus den. They come with parking. Um, and the, 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 here are the buildings. And the pricing started in the mid 200s USD, 250, 275, up to 300. And then the one plus flex, the one plus den are give or take in the 300 race. Some could be a little less if they face away from the water on the lower floor. Some could be more if they're higher floor facing the water. But overall, that's the price. And you look at the price, maybe 400 now for the top product. Maybe there'll be a 450. This is for the first phase. These four buildings created right in the lagoon. Now, this is, in my opinion, a very good project to invest in. And it's an affordable project because you can get a one plus den. I wouldn't get a, a one there because you want to you wanna lease it out. This thing will be leased out, right? It's an investment. So the company running, this is a massive project, by the way, massive. And um, I'll show you, um, I want to share with you, this is the site for NIA. This is the site for NIA. I'm licensed to sell at NIA. So if you want property at NIA, contact me. I'll tell you exactly what's available. Um, I know the property well. And it's, it's a very, I think it's a beautiful place. It's high end. We'll go through the residential section quickly. So this is beachfront living. This is all just walking distance from the airport. We're walking. It'll take you maybe 40 minutes, but it's very close to the airport. It's literally a five minute drive, like literally. Okay, so it's very, it's very good. There's an investment opportunity here because you can buy these condos and they'll be managed for you, okay? This is the back of the building. Look here on the left, just uh, let me adjust the picture for you, just down a bit. Move myself, here we go. So these two buildings you see here, <laughs> uh, these are part of the four going over the lake. That's the first phase, there'll be more. And you can see the parking, with the roofs outside it's Costa Rica, you park uh, outdoor there with the shade. And these are the units, okay? These are where the units going to be. I think it's going to be a very good project. Um, they're also building an entire village, a village. And this village, there it is. This village will basically consist of, it's kind of mini strip if you want. You'll have all the stores, you'll have some cafes, things of that nature. Here are some uh, unit designs, unit designs. So this is a one bedroom condo. You can see here that, and this is all on my site. You can access that or go to nia.cr, but for prices and what to buy, call me, I'll, I'll help you. And I'll gladly represent you here. Um, okay, so they show you this some um, from 250. I'm not sure how updated that, but I think it's closer to 300 now. That's the flex, which is the den. And here we look at units which are larger units. So this unit here, you can see here just above my head right there. Um, you can see it's, it's kind of a two-in-one, which is a very smart, uh, if anyone knows the Summit condos in Toronto, use the exact same Burano Murano condos on Bay Street, use the exact same, which is a perfect design, which is literally almost two separate units uh, sharing middle space. So it could be mom and dad here and the kids here. Could be two people, could be whatever, but very easy to rent these units. Um, now, these units already a little bit up the price, uh, but still still affordable considering what you get in this town. 
Um, there's some other larger, similar but larger, and again, just larger. That's a three bedroom, but the, the basic design stays. Um, the one thing to know about Nia is when you bind into Nia, you bind into like a complete package. Um, there is Starbucks or similar coffee chain, and there are restaurants, there are places you can rent uh, water toys, there are beaches, there are whatever you need, uh, and you're right by the airport. So perhaps some people will live there, you can. Perhaps some people will just buy it just as a bounce, like you go to Costa Rica to your villa by the water, but maybe on and from the airport, you'll, you'll chill your condo and enjoy kind of the park, the water park, or maybe you just buy for investment. It doesn't matter. Or maybe you, you, you send some friends there and you can just rotate your friends throughout winter and make some cash. Either way, it's a wonderful project, in my opinion. It's massive. There's some under construction. They're, they're digging, 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 digging. That's the, that's the, um, the village area. Okay, so it'll be fun. It'll be community. There's a lot of nature around, obviously, sports, everything you can imagine. Okay, let's move on. That was Nia. Uh, the next project I want to show you called Naomi. Naomi. That's a very interesting project. It's it's a well designed it's within a larger community that also hosts houses and villas. And this section is the condo section. So um, reasonable prices. They're all in USD though, but they are reasonable prices. Uh, the design is good. Nice piece of land there. Um, you can see some. This is where these these buildings are going. So that's the section you can see below the house already completed. That basically you have the whole area. And this is um, some of the views you're looking at. The community is called Pacifico. Pacifico. So I have the prices of Pacifico, but you're basically looking at the three to five hundred thousand from the two hundreds if they still have them. But most of these condos, if you want to get something decent, you probably pay three or four hundred thousand USD, which is which is a Maybe a lot for Latin America, but it's such good value if you come from Toronto. Okay, I mean the quality of living here, and it's a community, and there's a lot of a lot of services available to you here, and it's just the health you're gonna get. So if you could swap your one plus then in Toronto for one of these, you know that's that's what you're looking at. That I think it's very very good. Okay, so these are great options too. And you can see where it is. It's a bit more south. Um, but there you go. Okay. And there's a, there's another page here I can show you. And it just goes a bit towards... Uh, so there are starting price 214. 214 US. Okay, that's very good. I'm not sure what the actual starting price is. So don't hold me responsible for it. But... Um, you can see there's all kinds of options you can get to live here. And a lot of these communities are aiming at young families, maybe grandma, grandpa come by. Um, <clears throat> because when you have children, and I know because I do, I have a child, uh, when you have children, you can't just bounce around that quickly anymore like you used to. It just doesn't work like that anymore. You have to have a place for them to play and to be, and if they're very young, then strollers and, and all these things so here you have a community which is safe which is plentiful which is wonderful um, you can tell that all the people around you are going to be just as you they're going to be great i mean they've they've achieved a, a milestone in their careers obviously they can afford this it's not too expensive it's not it's affordable but the quality of life we're looking at here is, is fantastic and i think that when you talk about costa rica is really you know, you have so many years available. What are you going to do with them? What are, you going to, what are you going to do with this time? You can live in one of these places, whether it's, you know, this one or that one. You can build your own home on some land I showed you or others. You can be in Nia. You can be in Pac any of these, uh, this one in Pacifico. Um, but end of the day, I mean, look at this. Look at what you're getting. Okay, so that's, to me, that's, that's very, very important. That is very important. I mean, you, you're really upgrading your, your living to a point where like, you come out and whether you'd like this environment better for you or this environment for you, like the, the quality of living is so much better, in my opinion, than, than we can offer right now in Toronto. Toronto, uh, I love the city. I've been here for so many years. You know, most of my life I've lived here. Um, but it has... It, 
it's facing a lot of issues, let's say that, whether it's, you know, cleanliness, cost of living is crazy, prices are nuts, um, transportation, here, here it's, it's suddenly your cost of living goes down by half, the sun every day, there's fresh fruit every day, and to me that's very, very appealing, and I think a lot of people, that, that are, that's what they're going for, you know, they're going for this. They go for be able to to just laze around, do your work. A lot of people work remotely. Even if you work for a big company, you can still work remotely, and you can have a life uh, which 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 is affordable. You can actually keep doing your job wherever you are, whether you go there for the whole year or just for a month a year, and then use this property as income generating. Okay. Now. You can get mortgages in uh, Costa Rica. Usually, it'll be about half of the value, half of the value. Okay, but there you go. There's a village here too. So if you like this environment better, it's great. Um, okay, I'm going to do a quick recap and show you one more thing, and, we, and I'm done for this video. Um, the recap is a Playa Garto, which is one of my personal favorite places because it's lo the location and the proximity to the airport and the community. And in fact, you can build your own. We have three lots available right now. They're very good lots. D2, 45,000 USD quarter acre. F2, 55,000 USD quarter acre. A114, 100,000 USD, 1.25 acre. Okay, On the 1.25 acre, you can build massive five, 6,000 square foot homes, kind of like what Greg did with your own design, everything you want. And right now, I'm actually looking. There, there are videos of the lots, by the way. Um, and right now, I'm looking for developers and architects to work with, to work with to help us design the houses on these lots. Now, I'm not sure if someone will come and just buy the lot, do their own design, and ask us to help them with design, but we want to have this option ready. Um, there are other properties in Costa Rica um, that I have available, but today I just want to focus on Guanacaste, basically, from Liberia West. Okay, so that's what you, because the, the distance is very, very short. Like, you know, to get from King of Bathurst to the 401 takes longer than it takes to get from the airport in Liberia to here. Okay, so that's the perspective. Think about you going from downtown to the 401 or you're going from the airport to your home or, <laughs> on the hill above, above, above the ocean. <laughs> All right, so that's that. It's, it's just like, Look at this thing. I mean, wouldn't you like to build a villa? A lot of people. Okay, the cost. Somebody asked me the cost. The cost. So the cost of the small homes, you know, a home like that, you can do for 100,000 US. And, and get quite a bit with it because, again, when you build the floor space out, and it doesn't cost a lot more, just floor and roof. Um, the cost runs up when you go crazy. Finishes and angles and, and all these things, but you don't have to. Uh, but you could... So you can get a lot for 45 and build a house for 100. You're done. Um, you could also get a lot for 100 and build a house for 250 or 300 and then get a McMansion, get a massive, massive home. And quite reasonable to assume that two or three years later, you'll be able to, to pocket 100 to $200,000 on this, on this investment. So there's, there's a lot of upside, also on the small ones, also on the land itself. There's a lot of upside in, in Costa Rica. Okay, last thing I want to show you is um, when you look at the map, okay, and this is for people that are looking to invest in Costa Rica and thinking where. Um, the area, um, understand that the area of Tamarindo, and it doesn't have to be Tamarindo itself. It could be the Playa Lagardo. And the reason I like Palo Garda is because it's a community with roads and services and it's made. I mean, you can buy a house in the jungle, um, but when you get something like this here, you can see it's all basically everything I showed you today is on the same road. They're literally on the same road. And then you like go right to Tamarindo, go left to La Garda, okay? You get out of the airport, you hit Nia. And there's other places along the road that I've shown in previous videos. But so you understand, if you come to invest in Costa Rica, these are some of the easiest options because they're the easiest to get to. There's an international airport right there. The drive is very short. The people are good. Communities are established. 
so you can just come and go running if you want someone if you just want to buy a, a, a pre-con condo you can do it you want to buy a consistent existing condo, you can do it if you want to build your own home you can do it and it's not going to break the bank and it's possible and it's not that difficult because a lot of people have done it and they will be with you to guide you through and, and basically if you want a white glove service just there you go just I'm going to write a check, build it for me. It's going to happen. So thank you very much. Any more questions about Costa Rica real estate, if you would like to list with me, or if you're looking to buy in Costa Rica or Toronto, Yossi Galpan is your man. Thank you.